Hey, this is Pastor Dwayne from the Sanctuary Church here in Fort Lauderdale, PC, USA. Um, got a question for you this morning. Have you ever been in a situation where you say something and you go, where did that come from? Okay, so sometimes what happens is we have like these tapes programmed in our heads. And it may have been something as simple as like the way you grew up and you just saw your mother and father and mom and dad were like, they just yelled and argued at each other all the time, you know. And you kind of started to get the idea, well, I guess that's what love looks like, that you yell and argue with each other. Or maybe you, these tapes have gotten in, 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 in your mind. And I had a guy not long ago who told me, he said, he said, my whole family lied. He said, so in my mind, lying was okay. Now, he had gotten out of prison, <laughs> and he was working on becoming a Christian. And he said, you know, it doesn't seem like this lying works with being a Christian. I said, thank God you said that, because <laughs> there's a lot of arguments to go there. So what I want to say to you this morning is that sometimes, man, we have, we have these tapes that are built into us, and we just say something without even really realizing it. You know, we, we start a conversation, and we actually hear that we just, it's like you get into a conversation with your wife, you know, um, or, or, or your person who you care about and love, and, and you, you start to hear the words come out of your mouth that you know you need to suck back in as quickly as you put them out there, but you go ahead and leave them. And you hear that other person say, uh, excuse me, what was that you said? You hear the spatula being laid down on the, on the table. And you know at this point you should be like backing up. But instead you just take the gasoline and pour it on more and more and more. And you continue this conversation that you shouldn't have gotten into at the beginning. And it just gets worse. See, sometimes we have these tapes in our head. And we start to respond because we think that's what love is or that's what concern is or that's what marriage is or that's what love looks like and we have to learn that sometimes we need to let go of those tapes we need to delete we need to erase uh, we need to allow new tapes to be formed to let go of the past to kind of set yourself free from all that other stuff you've been holding on to and the baggage that you've been holding on to and the responses that you make Things that you will have regret. Things that you'll have regret for early when somebody passes away that you needed to ask for their forgiveness or you needed to say, I'm sorry. See, we're being called to live into this moment, a holistic way of living. And that is that let go of the tapes. Pray to God. Say, God, what should I say to this person in response? because I know my old tapes would just get me into an argument. And maybe God then leans into you and says, like, why don't you ask them how they're feeling? Why don't you ask them where they are? Listen, give them a hug. This is what we're called to do, to let go of those old tapes, those old things that are back there. Let go of them, put the luggage down. Shalom. So don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe. And if you like what you're hearing, don't forget to share. Take care. Bye.